How to unzip a file in a Jenkins pipeline. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.1. There's also a sample repository associated with this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. Let's go and take a look at that repository. What we have is two Jenkins files and a zip file in the repository. What we're going to be doing is showing two different ways that you can run unzip within a Jenkins pipeline. The first one is just by using the unzip binary. So in this first stage, what we're doing is checking to make sure unzip is installed. And then next we use unzip to unzip the hello.zip file. And then within that zip file, I know there is a hello.txt file. So I want to go ahead and cat that out. So if we'll go ahead and take a look at our controller. I've already set up the job, unzip binary. If we take a look at the run of this job, it does exactly what we thought. We get the output of unzip help. Then if we go ahead and scroll down, we do our unzip of hello.zip. We can see that it extracts it out. We cat it out and we get the contents hello world, which is the correct value within hello.txt. So using the unzip binary is the preferred way of doing this. Now there's also another way that you can do this. Within the pipeline utility steps plugin, there is an unzip step and it gives us lots of different parameters that we can use. However, if I needed to use other parameters, I would have to go back to the unzip binary. That's why I say the preferred way of doing this is using the unzip binary. But if you already have the pipeline utility steps plugin available to you, you might want to try this out, but more than likely you're going to end up right back at the unzip binary. But let's take a look at the unzip step. So if we go back over into our repository, we'll go to unzip step. So what we're doing here is we're skipping over, checking to see if the unzip binary is installed. We have the unzip step. But that also assumes that we also have the pipeline utility steps plugin installed. So we see unzip, we give it the zip file name. In this case, it's hello zip. Since I know it unzips it in that same location in the workspace, then I can go ahead and just cat out my hello.txt file. So if we go ahead and go back over to the controller, let's take a look at the output for unzip step. And when we take a look at the console output, we'll see that the unzip runs, extracting from hello zip. It extracted one file. And then we cat out our hello.txt file. And again, we see hello world. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.